All right, Will Boss again today, uh, doing a quick video on controlling invasive Siberian elm. So Siberian elm, uh, of course, not native to the United States. Uh, here in New Mexico was planted during the Dust Bowl. Actually, Governor Tingley uh, recommended all be planted here when uh, there was not a lot of um, not a lot of trees, not a shade cover here during the Dust Bowl. So. Uh, Anyway, that's how you ended up with a ton of it. It spreads incredibly fast. Uh, and uh, another real bad quality about it is it will actually dig straight down into your uh, water system. So if you have uh, sprinklers, uh, it'll actually dig down into the city water uh, and it's, it's incredibly pervasive. Uh, it's actually the city ordinance in Albuquerque. You're not supposed to even plant any new, new, uh, new uh, Siberian elm, but it is around because it's so prolific and spreads so quickly. So I'll show you, because uh, I did find some. So I found some uh, today in my yard. Here's one. And as you can see in it, the, uh, the, the, the taproot itself is actually longer um, than, the, than the, uh, this little sapling itself of Siberian elm. Uh, so here is, here's another one. And I'll show you all real quick. When you, when you take it out, you want to make sure you get down low. And again, you get down the entire entire system. If it is uh, too long, uh, if, if, if you end up, here's another one right here, I'll show you in real quick. You know, make sure you get out the entire root system in there. Uh, and if, if you notice that, you know, like this one, any much, much longer than this, I probably would have been able to pull it out uh, by hand. I would have had to dig it out. Uh, it helps if the soil's a um, little, little wet. Uh, I ran my uh, sprinklers out here, so it made it pretty easy to pull these, these little guys out here. However, if it gets much bigger than that, you will have to dig it out. Uh, and when you do, it will grow back if you don't uh, do something about the, uh, the treating the tree. So what you can do uh, for kind of a natural remedy is you can use something like an Epsom salt, mixed in with water, make kind of a paste, cut uh, inch deep uh, holes into the uh, into the trunk that's there, uh, drill down about an inch, and put a mixture in there. Uh, that way it's a little, more, little bit more natural and you don't have to worry about too much about, about killing uh, killing other things around there. Uh, there's some other, other uh, obviously chemicals you can use out there, things like Roundup and stuff, but uh, as you know, I like to prefer more more natural method if, if possible. So again, controlling uh, invasive Siberian elm, and a really easy way to do it, but make sure you get that whole, that whole uh, root system out.